The year is 2003. One year later, cell phones are still shit. Networks are even shittier. And Plasma is the new 4K. Which isn't a thing because 4K is way, way in the future. But Plasma TVs, oh my god, the resolution is so incredible. And oh my god, the refresh rate on those things is insane. I mean, I got one plugged up to my PC right now. Oh my god, and it's just, oh, yeah, I'm like, yes, yes. It's like I could play Crisis on it at like 120 frames per second at like 1080p, which is absolutely insane. I mean, TVs nowadays only go up to 720, yo. Holy shit. You know, at this time, I should really invest in stocks, too, because uh, <clears throat> I know some companies are going to kind of blow up in the future, a.k.a. <coughs> Apple, <coughs> Facebook, <coughs> Netflix. <coughs> okay. 2003. I'm going to try and do this in one shot, see what happens. Let's see. Choose your... Uh, Oh shit, the Matrix. Oh, what the hell is this? I think that's Beyonce? Is that Crazy in Love, 50 Cent, Pirates of the Caribbean? Well, since I got White Rabbit as my uh, username, or screen name, excuse me, I gotta, gotta correct it. I don't know, did they use username way back when? Well, it's not way back when, it's just like post 2000. Oh shit, they even have Kill Bill. Oh damn it, that's, that's tough. That is tough. Okay, so if this is like for the. No, that's not the original Matrix. That's probably like uh, Matrix Revolutions or uh, Reloaded. If it's Reloaded, that movie kind of sucked. <laughs> but not according to some theorists, because some theorists think, oh my god, this is like the, the cornerstone movie. It like reveals everything about the Matrix. And I'm like. Yeah, but, but it's pretty damn boring because mostly what happens in this, like, just Neo kind of just bangs Trinity, and that's pretty much the entire movie. <laughs> that's, like, the main point in that movie. It's like, oh, yeah, Neo just bangs Trinity. Ooh, whoop de doo <laughs> Oh, but that was an awesome raid scene, I heard. Let's see. Oh, man, I wanted to... Oh, shit. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, I didn't see Finding Nemo. Damn it. So many good movies. The hell is that? Oh my god, I don't know what that is. Ah, oh, Britney Spears. It's Britney, bitch. Or, if you seek Amy. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> I like circus stuff. Circus is good. Oh, yeah, hey, um, Slay for You. Oh my god, that, that sounds so good. But, uh, I'm gonna, I have to, oh, damn it. Wachowski, Tarantino, or Pixar, before Disney took them over and raped them severely. <laughs> Back when Pixar was pure. Oh, my God. Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, really didn't care too much about it. Yeah, too much about it. I have all the movies. Well, shit. Well, I have the first three movies. I don't have the fourth one now, so... Yeah, I have all the Kill Bills, and I have all the Matrix, Matrix E's, Matrix I. Uh, okay. Oh, damn it. Ah. Ah. Sorry, I gotta go with Tarantino on this. Ziba, hey! What you doing? How's it shaking? <laughs> it's shaking, I guess. <laughs> Just doing some homework. I listen to music. You? Uh, video. Well, see, I'm in business school, so, uh. Yeah, video games just chilling. Homework too. 
Wait a minute, if you're doing a whore, how the hell do you have time to social network? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. They're not studying. I'm gonna say chilling. I'm just chill. I'm Netflixing and chilling. Or Netflix and chill. However you can say that. I'm just chilling, watching Netflix. What music are you listening to? Snow Patrol. Oh my god. I can't even fucking taste, girl. Shit. Oh my god, come on. Gotta touch you better than this before I left. No sense of taste. Snow Patrol. It just came out with their new album, Final Straw. Have you heard of it? Uh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna be polite and say no. I don't think so. No, I don't think I know it. You should listen to it. It's really good. Is it now? Is it? <laughs> So, uh, if I go get a smartphone and, uh, I'll bring up some Snow Patrol and I start playing it, will I enjoy it? I mean, if they're anything like Coldplay, then, uh, and it's like world music, then probably not. <laughs> kind of a mix reaction I might have, so. It's best to stay neutral in the situation. You should listen to it, it's really good. Let me let me check out your thing. My heart is bursting in your priv Oh my oh my god! What? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what, uh, what what what? My heart is bursting in your perfect eyes, as blue as oceans and as pure as skies. You make me laugh even when I don't want to smile. Ah, B. Who the hell is B? My heart is bursting in your perfect eyes, as blue as ocean and as pure as skies. Uh, okay. Oh, they're like highlighted too. So what? Are these having hyperlinks? I don't know. Okay, I'm confused with your buddy info. <laughs> so, how are you liking business school? It's hard. It's fun. It's boring. It's like, uh, let's see. Oh, I am ace in this shit. It's all about those connections, girl. <laughs> I mean, I mean, league, bitch. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it sly. It's boring. Wait, right, who's gonna admit, like, business, business school is fun? <laughs> it's like, you gotta be an absolutely insane person to admit that. So, oh, business school is fun, man. I'm learning all about this, like, hostile takeovers and uh, how to schmooze people at, like, dinners and how to ride in helicopters or how to take extravagant cab trips to cities, make billion-dollar phone calls. You know, is it, you know. Let's see, so, uh... Which at the undergraduate level is true. You don't learn. Well, you learn stuff, but it's not the stuff that you need to land a job. Which is what undergraduate school is. This kind of like a prep school for graduate school because in, what this is like says um he's in business basically. In order for anything to happen with his with Zika's character in business is basically he has to get an MBA. And basically, that's just a master in, in business. So, yeah, right now, it's, uh, his degree is going to be, like, worthless at the end of his four years. And he has to do, like, another four years at another school. I'll probably the same school since he's in the Ivy League. I think they work the same thing in the Ivy League, so, yeah. But he's going to be, like, drowning in debt because he's, like, a BCA underprivileged. So, he's possibly going to school on grants, scholarships, and... Loan money. <laughs> Which is like a, uh, an invitation to a 
living nightmare. <laughs> Let me tell you. It's like, you don't know debt until you know student loan debt. <laughs> uh, it's so boring. I feel like I haven't learned anything so far. Yeah, oh my god, I'm sorry, my words again. I swear to god, I'm not drunk, I'm just sick. <laughs> You're too smart for your own good. I'm struggling with some classes right now. Candy plans tonight. House party! Hang out with friends. Group project. I'm just... Uh, say, say, okay, okay. So, you have to build on what you said earlier. And what you said earlier was that you're chilling tonight. So, basically, uh, if you're in business school, I don't think they would necessarily go to a house party. Because, you know, house parties are kind of like a uh, art school thing or... Not engineering, because engineering, they don't, they don't do that shit either. Because they're, they are they are busy studying their asses off. And apparently it's a sausage fest, because, so I'm kind of glad I didn't go for engineering then. Because, damn, the uh, the uh, male-to-female ratio is uh, is highly skewed on the male side. <laughs> so it's a, mm, yeah, lots of lonely nights and lotion. Because, <laughs> you know, apparently in America everybody's circumcised, or nearly everybody's circumcised, so, yeah. Hey, hey I, I heard that on the internet, so whatever the internet says is sometimes true. <laughs> okay, so let's see. See, I'm chilling, so uh, I'm saying I'm going to hang out with friends. Because it's business school. It's, it's going to be kind of light <laughs> for the most part. I mean, the only strenuous thing you probably do is like math, like math courses. Yeah, I think that is really the only strenuous thing. Or since I'm trying to hook up with Zuckerberg, I'm trying to do some computer science courses too, so I'm probably doing a double major. A major in business. And business is like a broad category, so. <clears throat> and college is like the breaking out like this. It's like, you can say you want to major in business, but then in reality, they're like, okay, business is the general term for. Well, actually, it's an umbrella term. That's a better way to classify it. It's an umbrella term for a bunch of classes or courses that you can take and have a degree in. But in order to get a master's, you have to kind of go a specific route. So with me, <clears throat> in business, I'm probably doing like a, probably like maybe like business management. I think it's like management. It's either management or administration that gets you to like the CEO level of a company. And then once I get to get all that knowledge in place, I probably like teaming up with a IT degree. Or IT minor. Because basically, you know, she says I'm like, I'm smarter than the average bear, so uh, I'm using that to my advantage. So basically, if I hang out with friends, I can establish connections to other people. And that's how you establish connections with friends. Not going to house parties. House parties, you get drunk off your ass, and you wake up the next day, no clothes on, in a dumpster, in an alley. And uh, yeah, it's not, it's not fun. <laughs> So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I have to go in a few. I'm hanging out with some friends at my... Oh, <clears throat> yeah, I have to go in a few. I'm hanging out with some people at my friend's... At my friend Mike Storm. Mike? Oh, uh, Okay. Now I was about to make a RE4 reference, but uh, yeah, the moment kind of passed. Oh shit! Oh yeah, just like in real life, I hit <laughs> hit a wrong key. I hit the key beside the inner key. Oh cool! What are you gonna do? Have a few drinks, go see a movie, go to a concert. Let's see. In business school, <laughs> say what do people do for fun? Have a few drinks, go to see a movie, go to a concert. If he's going, okay, okay. So this has to build upon build on what you're saying. So okay, he's going to hang out with some people at his friend Storm, and uh, it's like business school, so. 
I don't think they would be too heavy into while uh, watching movies. Then again, they are like, wait, this is like, <clears throat> okay, so this is his sophomore well, freshman year at college. So right now he's between 19 and 20. So if he says he's going out for drinks, then uh, <clears throat> basically he's a uh, he's a bit underage for that. He has to be at least a sophomore to do that because I'm thinking the age is like okay, in high school you're uh, 17 when you're in a 12th grade, then you turn 18 when you leave it, then in college, freshman year you're 18, then 19, then you go from 19 to 20 in your sophomore year, then you go from 20 to 21 in your junior year. So you have to be a junior in college in order to drink. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to see a movie. Yeah, I was about to choose one as the option, but yeah, no, that doesn't make sense, you know, chronologically. <laughs> Alright. Oh, God, no, no, no! Oh, <laughs> oh God, I remember that movie. No. <laughs> movie sucked. It's like when you first watch it, it's cool, but then it's like after a few years pass by, then you go back to rewatch it, and it's like, oh my god, no. No, god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I should have I should have chose option one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's too late now, we're committed. So, uh, yeah, we gotta see this god awful movie. <laughs> Oh god, well, oh, shit. Oh, we're just going to see a. <laughs> Look at your tag, man! It's like you're a fan of the Matrix. You're a fan of the Wachowskis. At their. at the height. At their peak, man! Before Cloud Outlets. <laughs> and then you got Tarantino, man, the, the guy that single handedly wrote the best movies ever! Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill 1 and 2, and Glorious Bastards, but that's, that's later run down the road. Let's just sit with Kill Bill. Oh, I don't know, what was this? Later in the movie. I know he did 8 so far. Let's see, Reservoir Dogs was 1, Pulp Fiction was 2. Oh, wait, there's uh, Jackie Brown. Got about Jackie Brown. So I think there was a. Uh, did that come before Reservoir Dogs? I think it did. So I think it was Jackie Brown, then there was Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, there's a Kill Bill 1 and 2, that's 5, and Glorious Bastard to 6. Oh shit. Uh. Oh my god, what was, the, what was the seventh movie? Oh shit. Uh. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, wait, so that's, I want the seven. I know, uh, uh, The Hateful Eight was his eighth movie. What was the seven? Holy shit. Oh, God, um, oh, oh, God, oh, okay. Damn, this is like the, uh, this is like a quiz show question. It's like, okay, name all of Quentin Tarantino's movies up to The Hateful Eight, and then go. Anyway, okay, just Jackie Brown, Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill 1, Kill Bill 2, uh, uh, Inglorious Bastards, uh, shit, oh my god, oh, yeah, Django! Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I can't remember got that. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oh, Jane on Jane. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. There we go. We're just going to see a movie.
Final Destination 2 came out a few weeks ago. Do you have any plans tonight? Emily is typing. <laughs> it's like, dude, you forgot for a while. <laughs> Sorry, I went off on a tangent, Emily, because I, I was kind of in a bit of a crisis, if you didn't know. So, uh, nope. Brad has band practice, so I'm just hanging out in my dorm. Do I know Brad? Brad who? Sounds like a tool. Sounds like a tool. <laughs> nope. Brad has a... Wait. Brad has... Bam. Oh, damn. <laughs> no. Brad has brand practice, so I'm just hanging out in my dorm. Wait a minute. Brad? You talking about that Brad from high school? Did you guys hook up? Do I know Brad? Name sounds familiar. Brad, he's my boyfriend. You remember from high school? We've been dating for a couple of months now. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's like, bullshit. <laughs> oh, I could be sarcastic. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. I'm happy for you. No, no, I was going to say I'm happy for you. Because, you know, the guy was basically stalking her. He was like, yo, he's trying to message me and shit. Brad, he's my boyfriend. You remember from high school, right? We've been it for a couple of months now. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I want to be sarcastic, see what happens. Yeah, whatever. I <laughs> know you, you lying. How'd you two get together? <laughs> grab party I went to last year? While I was away, Brad sent me a ton of messages about how he felt. Uh, okay. At first, oh my god, damn! <laughs> Emily, it, it, it's okay to use the same line. I mean, it's it's not... Maybe it's like on Twitter. <laughs> they only have so much space to write, so, uh, Alright, okay, we got a lot to get through. Oh my god. Wow, oh, this, this, this chicken right. Then again, my friends say the same thing about me. It's like, I don't hear from you in months, and yet you send me a wall of text <laughs> to say, like, what's up? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, remember that grab party we went to last year? While I was away, Brad sent me a ton of messages about how he felt. At first, I thought it was really weird, but after a while, I realized it was kind of brave. We started talking again over the summer and realized we were going to go to the same school. Once we got here, we just kind of hit it off. Oh god, no. No, that, that, that relationship is destined for tragedy, let me tell you. Because uh, most of the relationships that start out <clears throat> early in college, they don't last long. <laughs> Believe me. I've seen it. <laughs> so yeah, you may be enjoying Brad now, but come on, there's so many fish in the sea, girl. Damn, it's like, have you ever watched, uh, have you even watched Sex in the City? <laughs> it's like, shit, it's like, it's like, men, they're like accessories in that show. It's like, you, say, you try you try one on, you try them all on. It's like, you know, it's like, it's not like one size fits all. It's like, you gotta try the person, see if they fit, see if you can like, coexist together and then sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Sometimes it works for a while and sometimes it kinda fizzles out. You gotta search for someone new and then that's that's pretty much it. That is that is basically the whole series. Oh yeah, and it's about friendship too. Friendship. The uh, the the actual sex in the show is actually in the background a lot, so it's an emphasis but they don't really <clears throat> they don't uh become explicit with it. Unless you're sad. Then again, you know, Sam never really had that many sexes anyway, so yeah, she was, she was kind of a balanced character. And also my favorite, besides Carrie. I like Carrie too. She was cool. All right. <clears throat> See, wow, two is being really, really blind. <laughs> it's like, say, like, what's he like? Do you love him? Is he your best friend? See, two sounds kind of like you're like a bit jealous already off the bat. So I want to play like I want to play the cool groove. So let's uh, inquire, shall we?
because I'm a very inquisitive person. So, what's he like? And I just realized it doesn't say A. Wait. Is the time changing? I think the time. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> we're, too, we're in too deep now, so I'll just fuck it. <laughs> I like that white rabbit. <laughs> it just stands out. It's like, bam. It's like, you know who I am. <laughs> you know what I'm about. At least smart. Not like you, though. You're smarter. <laughs> and funny. And he understands me. Does he now? Does he understand you like I understand you? Does he have the conversations we have late at night? Like tonight? I don't see you messaging him. So, what is this? Say, I can get under your skin. I know it makes you tick. He doesn't. See, I was invited to your family's barbecue. They like me more. They told me things. <laughs> they made impressions. Okay, <clears throat> well, he's smart and funny and he understands me. Sometimes he can be a bit of a jerk, but when it's good, it's really good. A jerk? Do you argue a lot? Is he ever mean to you? Now this is kind of a hard way to respond because it's like, uh... <laughs> so because you have to pick out something from her last statement to use as a question. I mean, we're homies, man, so it's like, is he ever mean to you? A jerk. Uh. Yeah, let's 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 dive in. That is a loaded question. Holy shit! <laughs> it's like those moments when you're on Facebook and you're into like this deep as conversation with somebody or Twitter you know whichever maybe even Instagram but you know my pop, probably Twitter but it's like you're in like a really deep conversation and you get to something like this and you're like you write it and then you're afraid to enter because basically when you enter there's no turning back that person will see that response and they have to respond to that response so it's like oh my god do I press enter <laughs> Well, shit, I gotta know, right? I said I'd be there to protect her. Oh, shit! Does he hit her? Oh, damn, I think this just got serious. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, we just opened Pandora's box. <clears throat> Alright. Time to crack those knuckles. <laughs> Let's see, is Brad ever mean to you? If you get pretty nasty when we argue, but that's it. We both, we're both very stubborn people, so we can go back and forth a lot. But like I said, when things are good, they're really good. Oh, shit. He deserve better. So it's like a bad relationship. Pretty nasty. Oh, damn. <laughs> How do you fucking answer that? <laughs> oh, you responded to that shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, wow. It's like, okay, what? Well, it's like this. What would the women do in Sex in the City with this type of situation? It could be pretty nice to over argue, but that's it. Both very stubborn people, so we can go back and forth a lot. But like I said, when things are good, they're really good.
So he's caring, but he's a fuck up. So, uh. Damn. I think I'll either one or two. Because three, uh, nah, that's just kind of like, uh, ignoring a problem. Because there is a problem. Oh, shit. Actually stumped. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I thought this game was easy. <laughs> mm, okay. Oh shit! You know what? I'm just. I'm just Shit. Uh, wow. Uh. Damn, I don't know what to choose. <laughs> oh. You know what? Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna base off this decision. Okay, if I were, if Zika were older, say like if he was like in his twenties or so, I think he would say option one. But because he's uh, eighteen to nineteen, basically, uh, it's best for him to go with like the uh, neutral slash kind of like a suggestive route, where it's like. Yeah, it kind of sounds like a bad relationship and you need to get out of it before something seriously happens because basically you're still young. There's like, there's a lot of, like I said, fish in the sea and you don't really need that type of shit in your life because right now it's kind of a crucial moment and if you fuck it up, you're, you're basically fucked for the rest of your uh, time on this planet. So, yeah. Well, in theory. Fuck for the rest of the time on the planet and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. Oh. I think it's just a normal relationship. All couples argue a lot. Oh, damn. <laughs> we are. Okay. I want to treat you like that. I just really care about you. It sounds like an asshole. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what a way to turn this around. Uh, uh. So the guy spills his guts about you. He, uh, he's borderline. He well, borderline harassed you to get you to notice him. Then once you started noticing him, he kind of turned into an asshole and. Now you two are fighting constantly, and you think it's normal, but that's not really normal. Both young and stuff, and, uh, let's see. Now, option one is, again, if you were, Zika were a bit older. So, yeah. Just, you know, right now, I just want to be, like, a really good friend, because I know it's like, it's like the way girls friend zone guys, it's like, I friend zone girls, so it's like, yeah, you're you're kind of in that friend zone, so like we're kind of equals that way. So let's not mess anything up that way, because basically we're in different states. So yeah, I can't be real with you. So I can't just lead her on like that. You know, we're in different states. I'm in the northeast. She's basically somewhere else. So uh, yeah, two.
Wow. <laughs> Whoa, that is a hell of a backspace. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's a wall. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay, just know that there are people who really care about you. It's a very neutral response. Listen, I think we're fine. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Yeah, I, I went a little too far. Yeah, I made her uncomfortable. Actually, hold up. Oh, shit. I can't go back. Oh, <laughs> you weren't committed for real. Oh, shit. Okay, uh. Um, okay. Just go. Damn. I shouldn't apologize too fast. Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just want you to be happy. But I am happy, I promise. Oh wow, it's getting late. You need to go see your friends, don't you? <laughs> Damn. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Oh wow. Oh. Oh crap. Oh yeah. At least we laid the seat though. So yeah. Yeah, because with this up here, basically, yeah, I'm sorry, I just want you to be happy. Basically, I like to see, so I like, yo, you're in a bad relationship, and you need to get the hell up out of it really fast before something bad happens. And then it kind of made her think. And by making her think, it made her uncomfortable. And because she was uncomfortable, she was like, she started responding negatively to me. So it's like, okay, if you offer the apology now, basically, that's kind of like a, uh, Okay, I'm sorry, you know, it's kind of went a little too far, and I kind of made you uncomfortable, so I'm going to back off this subject. And so, if I'm choosing to stay, that's saying, like, yo, I'm, I want to get back on the subject again, and I might drive her away, so it's probably best to kind of end things in this train of thought now. So, yeah, I should go. Yeah, I should go. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Later. Oh man, that is... I wonder... Is this still recording? Can I hit a... No, I don't need to shut down. Do. Hopefully everything's still recording properly. Actually, let's see. Uh, can I resize it? Okay, one second, people. We're gonna have a quick break.